quarterback James Lark. James, how are you feeling now as you start your second full week of camp? Um, I feel good. Physically, I feel great. Um, the offense is coming along great. I understand it well. Uh, I felt like the first couple few days of practice, uh, I mean of camp, were my best. And then I didn't get as many repetitions after that, and I kind of lost some momentum and stuff, so it's time to kind of pick it back up. Do you feel that you guys as an offense have progressed just the part progress has just skyrocketed during fall camp because you got a lot of experience. Our offense looks amazing right now because I think it's because of the hard work we put up, put in the summer. Um, we had, I mean, we had player run practices a couple times a week. We we're out here actually having practice without coaches and then uh, receivers and quarterbacks. We were getting our chemistry down. We'd come out and throw probably four or five times a week. And so it's really helped our offense to succeed and at an early level in camp early stage. What expectations do you have of yourself now that you've been back from your mission, been in the program, and now you're heading into your second year back? Um, my expectations uh, haven't really changed. I mean, I'm always fighting to be the best I can be. I mean, I can't do, I can't do any better than that. And so every, every practice, every year, I come into it trying to, to get better and to, to move up in the lineup, but just do my best. And you got, as always at BYU, several very talented quarterbacks here. Yeah, we've got a lot of great quarterbacks. Um, I think we probably have some of the best depth at that quarterback in the entire country. So it's a good competition for us all. Talk about the newcomer, Alex Caressa. Uh, Alex is a great kid. I've got to know him pretty well over the summer. He was doing summer school, and he's a good kid with a bright future. And so BYU is lucky to have him. You still have Brandon Doman as your quarterback's coach, but now he's also the offensive coordinator. Has that changed anything? Um, I it, it hasn't changed our relationship with him. He's still, I mean, he's still in our every meeting with us. Uh, I mean, he's a lot busier now, and that's expected, but that's about it. Do you have some new plays to memorize over the spring and summer? Um, not really. The kind of the, the concepts are all kind of the same. There's different formations and alignments and things, but uh, it wasn't a lot different. I mean, I'm, I've been here, this is my fourth season, so it wasn't too hard. Uh, starting off the first four or five games last year, it was hard for the offense to get in a groove. I'm assuming we won't have that problem this year. That's a, I think that's a good assumption to make. Uh, I think we'll come out on fire and ready to play because uh, we've worked hard and we have good chemistry between all our teammates. So I think it'll be good for our offense. Okay, thanks, James. Yeah.